G'day, in this quick little video I'm going to talk about the recent upgrade I've done to my fibre laser. So originally it was set up for EasyCAD 2 and a lot of you will be familiar with how uh, it's not exactly the most reliable of programs. It tends to crash. It's only a 32-bit program. I've upgraded this to EasyCAD 3. Now what did that involve? Well, it meant pulling out the old uh, driver card and putting in a new one uh, which is this arrangement on top here. It consists of the driver card itself and then this plug-in additional card that interfaces with the other axes, the rotary, the Z and A and B. They're all options. I'm not using the A and B but I am using the Z axis which was an upgrade to motorize the the tower and this is the rotary axis. There's also a couple of other hardware changes that needed to happen. The addition of a power supply that drives the card. The old power supply was the wrong voltage for that. It's a cheap supply, 3 amp, 12 volt. Also, there is the drive card for the stepper motor that runs the Z axis. That Z axis upgrade was taking off the old hand crank uh, which was a real pain to use because you sort of got to reach up there and crank, crank, crank. Horrible thing. Took that off, threw it away, literally, there you go. And put on a stepper motor and that matches up with the, the stepper drive that's mounted inside the main box. Some cabling. I also integrated a homing switch and I've mounted that to the back end of the tower. And that works pretty good and I'll take you through how that operates. At the moment, it's a mess. I've got wires hanging here and just twisted. I'm waiting for a six pole plug. Then I can close it all up and put it back down where it's less noisy. But it's functional for now and I've had a job where I've, I've got to do 5,000 of these little stainless steel key tabs. I've had to come up with an automation plan for that. And I'll talk a little bit about that too. EasyCAD 3. It's a 64-bit program. Was it an easy process to upgrade? I went through some dramas with it, but I did have good support both in Europe and the States with guys who interface with the Chinese guys. So it did take a lot of work to get it up and running. Not everyone runs into those issues that I did. It was mostly licensing and getting, getting things upgraded properly instead of, it's just a language barrier thing. But once it was overcome, EasyCAD 3 is brilliant. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. Now these, these tabs that I'm doing, you can do that on EasyCAD 2, but EasyCAD 3, so easy. Another upgrade I did was this XY table. It's for fine tuning the adjustment in both X and Y axes just by turning these knobs. That's an American made device by Blackwell Engineering. I recommend these. The Chinese do make a version as well, but it's a higher profile, so you lose some height. Uh, and this is such a beautiful bit of engineering. Comes with stops and screws and knobs and all very handy things. To do these, uh, you, uh, you can see I've got a bunch of these key rings here, key tabs. I've lined them up 40 at a time and I cut out on my CO2 laser this Perspex right angle fixture just to make it easy to line all the tabs up. So then the next part of this is to draw up in EasyCAD 3 what I need to do labels. And so one side of it is fixed text. And this one says to return to the office if you find it. And then the other side is serial numbered. So I'm just going through all of these 5,000 labels, 40 at a time, doing all of the fixed side so that when the individual orders come through for the numbered side, which will vary from little order to little order, I can do the serial numbering in EasyCAD 3. So here we see I've fired up EasyCAD 3. It looks similar to EasyCAD 2 in a lot of ways, but down the bottom it's a little different. I've got axes so I can deal with the rotary but in this case the Z tower. There's some things that look a little different that bring in 
3D. Now the card I got was a 2.5D card. I can do deep engraving and stamps. You do all the work once and then you store the program, uh, the file, key tags here, back end, and it just opens up that. And I've done an array of this fixed text. And the hatching is automatically done. And what this does is a, initially a deep engrave, a clean up sweep, and then the stainless steel black and a kneeling process to give a black finish to the text that's deep engraved. This group of 40 that I've done takes about four hours. So it's about an hour per 10 tags. Just to check everything, I'll hit the red light. And what it comes up with is axis must be homed, continue. That's a difference when you've put on the Z axis. When I hit OK, the Z axis will home and then move down to focus. So I'm just going to OK that button now and straight away the Z axis starts moving up to the home switch. Once it reaches that homing switch, It'll work its way back down to a predetermined soft limit at the very bottom, which is the base of that fiber laser. And then, it takes a little while, because it's not massive. Hey, it's a hell of a lot quicker than hand cranking. Then it moves up to the focal point that's been entered in for this particular material. Here you can see I've got the red light, but interestingly when you do an array like this, it only shows the first one. And I'm okay with that. I'll show you what it's like next. I'll switch off the red light and do the laser. So this is the first deep burn or deep engrave. This is a bit like watching grass grow, so I'll speed up the rest of it. And when that's all done, coming straight off the laser, it looks like this. It's still not perfect, so it needs a little cleaning up. So I'll just wet that, wipe it down, and then give it a clean. And that's what we're left with. So that is a deep engrave. It'll never wear out. It'll never rub off. Deep engrave with a black finish on the stainless steel. Perfect. So that's how a semi-automated production of these labels. I got the 5,000 blanks cut to my measurements, my design, by a industrial fiber laser cutting service. And they didn't come out too expensive. And you can make up your own labels that way easy. If you've got the volume, then it's well worth just getting them cut in, in bulk, like the 5,000 here. This is just one part of the bag. <clears throat> now I've got another four that make up the 5,000. This is sort of the ones that I've engraved so far. So I'm just loading up 40 at a time and I may well change that and do it. At, I might be able to get 60 on there. It's, I've got the space for it. And then I can set, and that'll be six hours. So I can just toddle off to work and leave it to it. It's not hard work this way, it's automating it. I hope you got some value out of that. Uh, send me a comment if you want to see something else, if you want to go see the detail of doing the array. I'll put in links below to the videos that I've used to learn 
And I've got to say, Easy Cad 3 does make it easy. So if you got some value out of this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe maybe, or share the file. Everything helps. Cheers.